Hey everybody, 47 Mark 4 here, back playing Foolcraft 3. All right, so been looking around, thinking about what I want to do, and I think I want to continue working in Project E, right? So let's let's take a look. I started playing with this mod, and there's stuff in here I still want to play with. I really want to check out the energy condenser. But to get here is, yeah, all of this stuff. But you know, looking at it, it's not that bad, right? Uh, some of these statues I totally can get now because they work. Uh, I can make this minor controller. I can make that storage part. This head is easy. I've already got this statue. These things I can make, that's not hard. So there's only a couple of challenges here, right? Like a purple diamond shulker box really doesn't look that hard that this is just a shulker box, right? So when I'm looking at this whole thing, uh, the singularities are going to be the first challenge, right? So I got to make all these singularities. And if I'm looking at this right, this is combination crafting. That's a crafting core. So I'm going to guess that each one of these dudes needs to go up on one of these pedestals. And so I think I'm going to set this stuff like right out here in the middle. Now I can pick this stuff up because this doesn't work anymore. Unfortunately, the, uh, you know, they, they fix this, right? So the second that it breaks it, I lose the interface. Ah, it was fun while it lasted, right? We'll, uh, we'll just pick this stuff up. Uh, yeah, that's what was going on. Uh, but I'll go ahead and put all this other stuff right out here. So let's take a look at some of this. If I'm going to need one ultimate singularity, it means I need all of these other singularities. And this isn't too bad, I don't think, right? So, you know, let's make one just to see. So I'm going to need a quantum compressor and it looks like an ultimate catalyst. And, you know, we should be able to make this stuff here. Uh, so let's see, I've, you know, I've already set up a lot of the recipes here. Yeah, so quantum compressor, right? It's just all of this stuff here. It's not terribly expensive. Go ahead and make me one of those. There we go. All right, and I think it was one of these ultimate components. I just want to try stuff and learn about it. And let's grab a uh, let's grab an exporter. Let's do this right out of refined storage and maybe stack. Right, I've got the supplies for it. And let's take some. Let's do lapis. Right, so. Just for testing, uh, do you take power, I wonder? Yes, you do. All right. So I'm going to need a uh, flux point. Oh, I don't have any. Well, I mean, let's fix that, right? Let's get a whole bunch of these dudes. Always going to need flux points, right? We'll stick you on here and give you power, right? And you'll fill up, and you don't go in there. Oh, <laughs> okay. All right. If I do that, will you clear? Yes, you will. Okay. So I got to place it in there or it's going to compress it. All right. Well, let's see. Let's take one of these and I'll put you right here. Okay. And let's export. I just want to see if this is valid. Right. And go ahead and export some lapis. And here you go. All right. Do it by the stack. Right. Just like that. So it's a thousand, I think will give me, you know, one of whatever, one of these singularities. So not bad, right? A thousand whatevers. And I just want to see what happens. Can I let this run? No. Uh, okay, eject. Uh, what's going on here? What are we doing? All right, you? Stop. I was expecting... Uh, what are you doing? Are you giving it back to me? 1360? Oh, you are! Well, that's kind of odd. Okay, so let's take a look here. Lapis. Let's take a look. What are we doing wrong? We were supposed to put in an ultimate catalyst, and a thousand lapis would give us a lapis singularity. Am I not looking at this right? You should be there. And let's just take a look here. Ultimate catalyst. Oh, ultimate component. Oh, 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 oh. Ultimate. It's this dude here. Okay. All right, I see ya. No problem. This is why we do this. We're learning. And swap those dudes out. Okay. And, nope, that just ejects. And throw you back in there. I don't understand. You should. 
Oh, oh, wait, it's doing it. Oh, it's doing it. Okay. All right, so... Oh, cool, look at that! So I'm just going to make a bunch of these. Now that I get how to do this, I've just got to make a bunch of those things. All right, so we can throw all this garbage back in here. Don't need that and this. All right, cool. So to make one of these singularities, uh, let's take a look here. Glowstone, gold, diamonds, whatever, all these other ingots. Uh, yeah, right there. Brass. So brass is going to be a problem. But silver, lead, steel, nickel, all the modded metals, yeah, none of those are a problem, right? I can export all of them right out of refined storage. Uh, I just want to see what happens here. Are you going to give it to me? Cool. All right. So you clearly can do that. All right. So we could, you know, I can keep exporting that stuff. I don't know a way to automatically just limit it to a thousand. I got to think about that. And then those things will go on there. So I need to set another one of these up with how many ever there are of these things. I'll count them later. I don't know, 25, 30, something like that. And so I've got to make a lot more of these pedestals. And, you know, then we can make this recipe here. Infused ender pearl. Yeah, super, super easy. All right. So our next challenge here is making brass. So alchemical brass from Thomcraft. But, you know... We can make it in the metal caster over here from Foundry. And so we have liquid brass, right? And so liquid brass, I can alloy. And so there's an alloy mixer and an alloy crucible. Let's, uh, let's go check those things out. Let's check them out and see what's what, right? So here we go. An alloy, what are you? You're an alloy furnace. And I'm not sure. Mixes up to four liquid metals, okay mixes two liquid metals so either way i feel like i'm going to have to have these already melted what are you right i'm just not sure which one's the better deal but i only need two if the crucible right alloy and crucible or alloy not it wasn't the furnace or alloy mixer well let's take a look at brass again let's take a look at brass uh so right here liquid brass I mean, it looks like the same thing, right? Aluminum and copper, or... And you know, this one over here had a 3x on the number that it's making. So let's go this route. Let's go alloying crucible. All right, so I should still have some of this stuff? Yeah, let's do this. All right, so al alloying... Alloying... Yeah, right there. Alloying crucible. Uh, cauldron... I don't know what I have in the system and what I don't, so... Let's just make it until we can't. All right, so got you guys. And now we got one of these. Let's take a look at what this dude does. And so it's literally put it in here and mix, okay? And then I'm gonna need to pour this thing. And this is, uh, this is foundry, right? So foundry, what do we have? We have the metal caster. Uh, you're a metal infuser. So I need this metal caster. I need the ingot mold. Uh, let's see, metal crucible? No, I should be able to pour out of that other thing. I just need to have one of those, uh, nozzle spout looking things, right? I just need one of these, refractory spout. I think I can do that. I think I can put, right, a refractory spout on this guy. So now I've got to melt these metals. I've got to melt this. So what do I melt them with? A melting crucible. All right, let's, uh, let's continue learning here. A melting crucible. Crucible. Uh, what are you? I got one, and so we're going to need two of these guys. Standard. Well, if that's standard, is there an upgrade? You are a magma crucible. You're a basic. Uh, melting crucible advanced. Must be placed above a heater block. What are you? You're a standard. Hmm. What's, uh, what's a heater block? Do I have a heater block? What is the heater block? Uh, let's see. One of you guys. Burner heater. Oh, that's right. I remember this. I remember. Okay. All right. So what do we already have? A standard. Let's just take a look at standard right here. What do I have? All right. So I just need to get whatever is right here. All right. Let's just check this guy out. Because I just want to learn here for a minute. I haven't played with this mod in a little bit. Alright, so you... 
you are going to take some ingots. You're going to need some... Yeah, you need to be heated. All right, so you need to be heated. Must be placed above a heater block. Must be placed above a heater block. All right, so if I'm looking at brass, right? I'm looking at brass, and I'm going in the alloy and crucible, so liquid copper has to be in a melting crucible. And liquid aluminum has to be above a melting crucible, too. And your standard. Oh, and it doesn't tell me. It doesn't really tell me real good. Uh, let's just take one more look here. I don't see on here a temperature. Right? Oh, right there. Okay. So copper is 1300 Kelvin, or K, or whatever it's supposed to be. And right here, you're 900. All right? We're figuring this out. So, melting crucible, 2,500. Okay, so I'm going to need some heaters. And I can use induction heaters because we got crazy kinds of power. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Let's make these induction heaters. And, you know, oh, let's see. Constantan. Oh, come on. Tell me I don't have to cast. Constantan. Really? I have to cast a bunch of these Constantan rods. All right, so let's get our uh, let's get our brass process going here. So we'll kind of do it, you know, bottom, top to bottom. I don't know, bottom to top, I guess. So the last one here is going to be the casting thing, right? The metal caster. So that's the kind of the final piece. And I'm going to go ahead and stick. For right now, I'm just going to put this whole process maybe right here, right? So you're the final dude. I'm going to go ahead and put your ingot mold in here. You're going to get everything, let's see, out of this alloying crucible. In the alloying crucible, you're going to have to go up a level. Man, I lose stuff all the time. Melting, why do I only have one burner heater? Oh, that's burner heater. Uh, let's see, right there, alloying crucible, because I want you here. And then I should be able to find your little spout thingy, right? And I'll put you right there. And you are going to take a couple of liquids right and you're going to go ahead and put those in here so doesn't really matter where these come from i don't think so i can take these melting crucibles or at least i think i can and i'll put you right here and here and then i'll put your induction heaters down there and i'm going to need myself a flux point so i'll just throw one right here for right now uh let's see network and out and I'm going to need a couple of conduits. Uh, let's see if all of this will work. Ah, uh, yeah, right there. So let's just grab these guys because all of those need power, right? And you should be heating up like crazy. All right. So uh, let's see. Let's do this. There's importers. Here's exporters. So I want to export out of both of those. And then if I'm lucky, I should be able to... Oops. I should be able to import from this guy... And are you going to pull out the ingot mold? That's the only thing I don't know. And, yeah, let's go ahead and we'll just do one of these right over there. Did you pull out the ingot mold? No. All right. Oop. Don't need that. And just checking, making sure everybody's up to temperature. So you can export copper. You can export aluminum. And, oh, we're going to need, oh, we're going to need fluid conduits. Yeah, we are. Uh, so let's go ahead and let's get those. So you and you can go. And I want ender fluid conduits. And we should be able to do something like this, right? So just extract from these guys. And just insert into this one. And I can see it doing something. Oh, but it's not making brass. Uh, let's see. Shut that off. Let's just see where we're going wrong here. We got ingot molds, and you must have already turned it. Yeah, you're... Oh, no, you're liquid brass. Oh, it was doing it that fast. Right? There we go, alchemical brass. So I'm just going to let this run for a minute to go ahead and make my, uh, you know, thousand ingots that I need to compress. And let's just take a look here. Right? Brass? Oh, yeah. And, you know, what I can do is I'm going to go and stick them in the drawer network over here. Even though storage is basically unlimited and not a problem, might as well do that. All right. So I think out here, I've moved this stuff. I think I'm going to need like 24 of these. And I've got 10. So let's go ahead and get more 
uh, pedestals, right? Let's go ahead and get more of these. Uh, and I might need more in the future. So let's just kind of lay them out. I want to see if they work this far away. Uh, maybe I'll bring them in one row. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. So let's go one, two, and then right here, three, right? And one, two, and three. So something like this. I should be able to get a whole bunch of them. One, two, and then three. I should be able to get enough around it for it to do the crafting. I, at least I hope. I don't know what the range of this thing is, but yeah, that's plenty. Right? And then, whoop! Whoop, whoop, nope, take you off the table. And then we will give you uh, power. And then I'm just going to start lining these guys up, right? So, uh, let's see. From the door, I guess we'll go over here. So, there we go. You are your whatever that was, lapis. And I went ahead and I made redstone and I made glowstone. So, I just got to keep making these guys. And I figured this thing out a little bit more. So, let's take a look here. Singularity. Singularity. Uh, ultimate singularity. So the next one in line is gold and then diamond. So nothing is really wasted. It's just a little bit of uh, manual stuff here. So diamond, just like this. So I'm going to go ahead and let's check. You're empty. I still have the catalyst in there. So I'll go ahead and tell you to do gold. And it's going to spit it in there pretty fast. And when I get over a thousand... Uh, I'll go ahead and tell the exporter to stop exporting, right? So right about here, here we go, and stop. And so I'm over by 88, but then it's going to compress this whole thing into a singularity, and then I'll press eject, and I'll refund the difference, and that's it. And then I'll go ahead and we'll go stick them out there. So I think I've got everything I need to make all of these singularities, so... I'm going to grind this out for just a minute. All right, so I've been crunching down materials for a little while, and we are finally done. So right here, my last couple of singularities, I've got the rest outside. I went ahead and made all of these. Now, I had to go ahead and make uh, some more quantum compressors. It was just too slow. So in the middle here, I'm just going to need an infused ender pearl. So let's grab one of these dudes. Go slap these guys on the pillars. Uh, I'll let the brass setup run for a little while. You know, while I've got it there, let's make a thousand ingots or so. So you can go there. You can go here. I think I've got one more than I need. Uh, infused Ender Pearl, right? Don't you, don't you go right there? Whoa! I was expecting that to take longer, but there we go. We got ourselves one ultimate singularity. Nice. And only use on this is to make the energy condenser. So we are one step closer. That only cost 23,000 ingots to get this one thing. You know, just a little bit. So I think I'm going to call it there for today. We're, uh, we're getting closer step by step. I'm 47 Mark IV, and I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, hey, you know, drop me a like, leave me a comment, let me know what you think, and then I will see you in the next episode.